This is your vehicle's Rear Seat Infotainment System, or RSI, which allows you to play media from a variety of different sources on these screens on the back of each front seat headrest. To get started, the engine must be running. Each monitor has its own power button. You can also turn the monitors on by pressing this button on the remote control after selecting the A or B monitor using these buttons. Push here if you need to adjust the angle of the screen. You'll find these keys along the bottom of each monitor, which are used to navigate menus and select items. Now it's time to select an input source, and you have plenty of options to choose from. There is an SD card slot located here. There are USB and HDMI ports located here. For best results, it is recommended that you use manufacturer-branded cables, which may be sold separately. See your device's owner's information for more details. Please be aware that the USB port will only read external storage devices, such as thumb drives. If you want to play content from a phone using a wired connection, it must be plugged into the HDMI port using a compatible adapter. There are also wireless options for streaming from a phone. For example, Miracast allows you to enable screen mirroring with a compatible Android mobile device. For iPhone, you have the option to use SmartStream, which uses the built-in Wi-Fi network to stream content wirelessly to the system. Please be aware that protected media may not play on the RSI system. See your device's owner's information for more details. Regardless of which source you choose, both monitors can play the same source by selecting Mirror from the Home menu, or their own source by selecting Source and then the appropriate option. With the input source selected, you'll now need to choose how to play the sound, and again, there are many options. You can use the included wireless headphones by simply pressing the power button and then selecting Channel A to listen to Monitor A or Channel B to listen to Monitor B. Use this control to adjust the volume. If you'd rather use your own wired headphones, they can be plugged into the jack located here. To play audio from the RSI system through the vehicle speakers, you'll need to set it up with these steps. Select Settings and then Bluetooth. If the status is off, select it and turn it on. Next, highlight and select the vehicle's name from the available devices. If prompted, input the PIN and select OK to confirm. Once connected, return to the Settings menu and select Audio, Bluetooth, and then choose the monitor you want to play audio from. For more information, you can access a full version of the System Owner's Manual on the Freevox RSI mobile app which is available from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating and feature information.